<laughs> All right, so as you guys can see, we finally got a 318, the GT225. I fixed that up to purchase this. Um, so we just picked it up today. Um, doing a quick overview, the brake pedal seemed to work, the little lever, they line up perfectly. This one doesn't seem to come up as much as it should, but as the lever there, this works just how it should. Um, parking brake, that, this. So that's unlocked. So I wonder if I put it in the brake, it'll lock it back in. This switch seems to be broke, but the PTO, I think I'm gonna need a new PTO for it. This moves, this one works. Um, and I don't think they have this unless it actually has the PTO built in. So I think there, I saw, I know it's a clutch, but the steering seems to be fine. The only thing I notice is this rocks back and forth a little. I don't know if that's some bushings or whatever. I don't know truly enough about them. Um, all these seem to be functional, but I may soak them in vinegar just to clean them up a little bit more. That one's pretty coated with rust. That one's okay. Yeah, maybe if I set these in some vinegar, I can clean them up if I take them off. And it actually has this tensioner on it as well. I don't know if it works. Uh, this tractor is going to be a huge learning experience for me as well. Um, the brackets, this is a little dinged up, but we can probably get a new one of those or get it fixed up. Now, something you probably noticed is the red engine in there. So this actually has the Kohler Magnum 20, the M20. Um, I wanted one with the original Onan in it, but... For the price that I got this one for, I got this for 500 bucks. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't need too much work, at least to just get it running and all, but we'll take this apart, clean it all out, spray this all out, spark plug there, spark plug there. So I'll probably have to take off these metal shields. Oh, so these are metal. Okay, so the hood's like fiberglass and these are actual metal. I did not realize that. I thought they were fiberglass as well. And then it looks like so it looks like whoever owned this before took the PTO off of it, and I'm not entirely sure why, but if you come to this, it kind of just moves around freely inside of here. So there's obviously something wrong. Like I said, this is going to be a huge learning experience for me as well. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I truly don't know. I don't know if we can fix that up. It looks like the bearings on the, because the GT225, the bearings were not replaceable. So I don't truly know what's wrong with that, but we'll, we'll get it running and then worry about it. You guys see the hours right there, 1,794. So quite a bit of hours, but it has a repower and I don't fully know when the repower was done. Um, and we're gonna spray it off quick before we do anything else with it. Um, and it seems to have good oil in it. And then the oil filters on this side. I, I like, I was a little disappointed I didn't have the Onan, but the Kohler's two horsepower more and I'm familiar with Kohler engines. The only issue I ever have with Kohler engines is the governor gear, like the other John Deere, obviously. Um, we have some wires that look like they're cut and probably need put back together and all. Um, I took the battery out, took it up for, to go get it replaced. Um, but I don't know, shoot. There's tons of, I, don't, I just don't know, like this is going to be an entire learning process. The seat's in pretty good shape. Um, it's still pretty cushy. Um, and the only brake on it is right here. Um, the gas smells pretty awful. And I didn't realize, but this is supposed to be a gas gauge, but this is too clouded up. I don't know if it's fixable or what. So, oh, that's awesome. So as it turns, it turns the little like dial or whatever. That's dope. Um, the lights are in good shape, except for this, this will need new lens on it and this plastic housing will probably need to replace. But overall, it's in pretty good shape. It's a little rustier than the one in Ohio that I was looking at, um, which obviously that wasn't able to happen for reasons, but it's in pretty good shape. So we're gonna clean it off, um, spray it off with the pressure washer. I um, mean, I think I'm gonna take the deck off so I can pressure wash the deck off as well. I'm um, gonna go from there since it doesn't have the PTO on it at the moment anyway. We'll have to figure out the PTO situation. But um, the tires seem to hold air. They're a little on the balder side, but I'd like to put ag tires in the back. But if you look inside here, I don't know if I'm wrong or right or whatever, but that looks like the rear clutch. And I thought they didn't put the clutch switch on these if they didn't have the rear clutch. So I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll have to mess around with it and see what I can do but it overall it's in pretty darn good shape so 
the main thing is cleaning it up seeing if we can get it running and this one i'm for sure keeping i know i've said that about the last three tractors but we're keeping this one so
All right, so we pressure washed it off quite a bit, um, and it's quite a bit cleaner than it was. It can still use some more, um, but that's about as good as it's going to get. This looks almost brand new. Like if you look at the green from this, and it's not quite indented at the top there, um, that one looks brand new, which it has the shield, so I'm not complaining. Both of them can get painted. They're not dented very badly or anything else. Um, but enough with the cleaning. I think I'm gonna start trying to clean this up get and get it apart so we can possibly start cranking the engine and possibly get it running. Um, gosh, there's a lot of dirt and everything in there. So I think that we're actually, to give me easier access to the motor and everything, because I'd like to change the oil at some point in time. Um, shoot. Maybe we'll just start with the carburetor, take the carburetor off, clean it out and everything. Um, make sure that we're getting spark and all. Um, and then once we make sure that we're getting all of that, we can start taking these off. Once we get the engine running, we can take these all off, clean the engine up real good, because I like this red. Um, clean the engine up real good and get the dang, um, get the oil changed out on it. I took the mower deck off and cleaned that off. It was covered with grass and everything. And it seems to be pretty solid, except for this area here with the pitting and all. But the deck came with it and it looks pretty good. And oh, so it's actually a three blade deck. I didn't even pay attention to that earlier. It does look like something, something is sticking underneath there. But it's really easy to get this off. It's just these two this, this, there's a pin that goes through right here, um, and then these two. So it's relatively easy to do. But then there's these springs that are just laying down here. Oh, you know what? I bet the spring went like this across here. Okay, more so like that. Um, and pulled this to tighten it and put tension on that. And then there's this bolt, which I obviously have no clue where it came from. Um, I'm just... I'm not entirely sure why this isn't spinning, but we'll worry about that later. Um, the nice thing is we do have a deck, so I can get a new belt if that belt seemingly isn't working. Um, but the main thing is getting the actual tractor running. All right, so to give you guys, a, because we haven't done this before, but watching back on other footage, you guys don't really have a good view of what I'm actually doing because I'm in the way blocking it and all. And especially in this scenario, there's no place I could really set it up where you guys would be able to see. So today we're going to try it. If it doesn't work out and you guys don't like it, um, we can go from there. But this may make it easier for me to talk and everything. Um, but let's, let me get some paper towels. Um, so first thing first, we'll take this carburetor off, clean it out and everything. But we also need to drain the gas out of it because the gas smells terrible. Um, and I have some new gas, not a whole lot, but I have a little bit of gas with me so we can fill it back up. But before I put any new gas in there, I want to get all this gas and everything out of there. So oil wise, it seems like we're doing well. The oil's in pretty good shape and all. Gosh, I'm really debating on if taking these side panels off would contribute and help me out. Um, I'm not sure yet. Now, the, because I'm not super familiar with these, like I've watched a ton of videos on them and everything, but I'm not super familiar for where the gas connects to everything at. Um, it looks like, so it still has the belly pan, which is really nice. People are saying that theirs didn't come with that. The hydraulic hoses look to be in decent shape. Um, and it does have hydraulic fluid in it. They do seem a little loose, but we can worry about the hydraulics once the engine is actually going. Um, that's light switch. Gosh, I knew it, I know it blew off the outer coating of this, but that made that look like brand new. That's awesome. Um, so that looks like a little switch to see when it's in neutral or not. Um, and then it looks like this is where you fill the trans oil. And then it looks like back here, this tells you the trans oil level. Which hopefully 
no water or anything has gotten in there. Oh, okay, I don't even think water can get in there. But it looks like there's transmission fluid in it. I question where it was leaking from them, but if we have to get a new tube, that's not going to kill anything. Um, again, the fact that we got it so dang cheap, there's not a whole lot that I can complain about. So let's see if we can see where... Yeah, you cannot see it. This tractor is so different from anything I've ever worked on before. Um, hmm. So we may have to just disconnect the gas where it connects to the engine at, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to them dang spark plugs without getting these off. And it looks like they're just bolted on right here and here. So we'll just get that apart. Of course, it's a 10 millimeter. So the one that I was looking at in Ohio, like I said, didn't even have these side panels. So that's already like a hundred bucks I'm saving. I got almost a more, well, I mean, not even almost. I got a more complete tractor for a better price. And the only downside of this one over the other one is the fact that it does not have the original engine in it. Which, I mean, depending on who you're speaking to, that could be a positive or a negative. Okay, let's see. So I'm not entirely sure where this plugs into. It looks like that would probably plug into the original light wiring. Um, the nice thing is they fabricated or did whatever they had to do with this. So it does exit out the same place. They didn't cut any holes in it. Um, I didn't necessarily have an issue with getting one that didn't have the proper engine as long as it was done properly. Um, those look to be the coolers for the hydraulics. Um, wire jerry-rigged together. Um, GK. The spark plugs look to be in pretty good shape. Obviously, I'll probably clean this all off. It's an M20S which um, I guess the, I was reading a lot of manuals, so the M Magnum series, 20, 20 horsepower, um, and then the S for the starter, the electric start, which it's fitted with, obviously. Um, you're not trying to pull start this. Um, it's also nice, because it, it does fit in there very well which I'm very happy about. I guess the Onans had issues with overheating, I believe. Um, I hope that the camera is low enough for you guys to actually see what I'm doing. I'm trying to tilt my head down a little as well. Um, and once we get it running, I'm gonna change a lot of this stuff out. I'll probably get some new spark plugs, get a new air filter and everything. But I'd, I'd like to get it running first, I guess. Okay, so this screw is just coming out of there. If the screw comes out, that's fine. Let's take the screw out and I'll put it back in. Okay, so a few rat pellets, but that's about it. Okay. 
nothing I have not seen before. The air filter is not in too bad of shape. Um, and the rat droppings really are not even that bad. Okay, so that bolt needs to come out of there. Uh, might be a 10. I think it's actually like a 3 8 or something. Cause that's a little loose, but a bolt like this should not be extremely tight. Let me get my little magnetic tray out. stuff in it so we don't lose it. Let's wipe this out quick. Get all that stuff out of there. At least there's not a rat's nest, but I question if maybe before there was. Um, there wasn't a whole lot I could question for the price. You know, even if, I don't know, the engine was blown up, you rarely would ever see a 318 for that cheap. This is a big, I, I've never dealt with a Kohler two-cylinder engine before. So this will be a first. Ooh, it looks like the governor gear for this might even be easier to replace than on any of the others. Maybe not. That looks like one piece, so maybe I'm smoking crack. But obviously here is the governor. Um, carburetor looks clean. Maybe if we spray it off with some carb cleaner. Where is this? All right, so this is the fuel pump, which means that this line right here probably carries the gas, maybe? That's the fuel pump. So this line has to go through here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like it goes, oh, okay. So it has to go to the switch. That's what that was over here. So reserve that that all right cool that's gas shut off now those hoses have to go back underneath somewhere <laughs> now it'd be nice if there was some way back here gosh i question how much of this i'm gonna have to take off um because i don't want to take the run i want to like do as little as i can to get it back running oh okay it turns yeah, it definitely turns. And it's definitely greasy. Um, hmm. That's why I kind of want to do this one on a day-by-day -day basis um, with you guys. It'll be easier for me to keep up with the videos and all. The goal for today is just to get this running. It's a strange place to fill up the oil at. Interesting. Oh yeah, you can even see the governor gear in there. That's cool. Governor gear is in good shape. Um, and it did seem to have plenty of oil, so. Um, we'll check it again before we actually get it running and all. Um, I just, the main thing is I wanna drain the staying gas out of here. Um, and I don't know if by taking that off, that's going to start leaking everywhere. I'm probably going to be best off taking this off of here. Cause it, just with that pant, like this isn't like a normal tractor where all the lines are just run underneath. Um, let's see. Maybe there's some way to get to it easily. Mm -mm -mm, breaks. What's that? Um, gosh, I'm gonna have to get that grass out of there at some point in time. Just trying to see where the gas tank's outlet is. Question if it's just on the front of it somewhere. Because I don't really want to have to take this whole thing off. It's a lot more work than... I... Ooh. 
unless we took the dang screen off the bottom of it. Which we could also do, since it will need cleaned out regardless. Uh, okay, let's see if we can take that screen off and maybe get easier access to the dang hose. All right. <laughs> that had a lot of stuff caught in it. it. Would've been nice to have that off when I was pressure washing it, but okay. Let's go back from the other side. So this is the dang transmission filter, which we will change that out. Um, I have full plans to change the transmission fluid and everything out once we get it running. Okay, so this is, wow. All right. Um, so the switch for the oil is up there. Or not the oil, the fuel. Um, so there has to be some type of line. All these metal lines, I assume, are for hydraulics. Um, but where is the fuel line? It's hydraulic line. What is that? Now, is that the line we need? Let's check up top. See what lines are connected to. No, those are all much smaller. <laughs> these are all much smaller than that. We truly need to figure out, I assume that one on the end there goes to the engine. It's pretty self-explanatory, but this reservoir one, I just, I really need to drain that dang gas out of there. Or I guess get another gas tank to run gas to the engine, but, all right, but where is that at? That's like right here on the other side. So there has to be some line or something. Okay, so I think it's one of these, which honestly looking at it, we might be better off just running, just taking both of those off, putting the pan underneath here and letting it drain out. Because I don't know if there's truly anything we can do from here. Um, looking at the gas tank, I can't even fully see where they connect to it at. So, um, let's see if we can disconnect it up top. So we'll just set this down here. So whenever we get those lines out of there, and I'm questioning if we should take the side panel off of here, because I don't know if I can get to that otherwise. I don't even truly know if there's gas in it, to be 100% honest.
<laughs> See if we can clean that rust out of there. Oh yeah, there's just like a layer of rust and grime. Yeah, this pan may not even be rusted itself, to be honest. Might be easier if I just get all this stuff out the way. What is this? Where did this go? Oh, is this for the switch? No. Oh yeah, yeah it is. That's why that switch doesn't work. <laughs> That's funny. That's fine. We can fix the switches. It'll be alright. See if we can get this out of here. Ooh. A little more difficult than I was expecting. What is this? What is this? 10 millimeter. Let's see where our 10 millimeter wrench is. That's 12. There we go. There's the nice 10. I remember as a kid, I used to question why my grandfather didn't replace every single bolt and every single thing we worked on because I thought it would make it nice that they were nice and shiny and somehow contribute to the tractor overall, but now I realize you try to save as much money as you can, to be honest. Because if not, these tractors become a money pit, especially these ones. Why is that not want to come out of there? I just figured these ones will be a little bit more personal. I won't have to speed up as much. Maybe having it on my head will help me just talk to you guys a little bit more. If I just keep it on my head and this works out, I could even just attach a lav mic to it and call it a day. It'd be nice to have two of them, maybe a wide angled shot and all, but then again, maybe that just complicates it too much. I just want to work on tractors. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy doing it, so either way. I'm just trying to make it like the best videos possible. I'm trying to watch all of the old clips and things back and maybe learn and try to get better about it and everything. Gosh, that stuff is caked up. What is that? Is that just like a solenoid or something? Okay. What do these plug? What the? F yeah, I don't know where half of these plug into. It looks like someone ain't even... But then again, a lot of wires could be different since it does have the different engine on it. It's a wall, bro. It's one of the nice carburetors that the Kohlers come with, I believe. If I am correct. Okay. I just really hope the governor is not bad because I don't want to have to take another engine apart right now. Not one bit. <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to. All right, so. Now we have a little bit easier access to this, but we may even be able to make it a tiny bit easier. All right, so that has to go outside. That goes to that wire over there. Make sure we remember that, since there are disconnected wires and all. Um, 
might be easy as well if we so this goes there gosh i question if i should just take this side of it off let's see if anything will come out of this side that's this belly pan a lot of them don't have that this is the torsioner or tensioner um so the belt runs from this PTO right here on the front um, down to here and then you can tighten up the belt and stuff and then it runs underneath for any attachment like the mower deck that's underneath or it can run forward I believe for like a snow blower and stuff but then your attachments on the front these are the hydraulic hookups on for the front um, which I want to take them off and probably soak them in vinegar or something if I can um, and then they allow the attachments like the snowblower would just hook up here and then bolt up. So how's it going? I'm good. I mainly just cleaned it. Oh, okay. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I said, I don't see nothing wrong with it. trying to empty the hose out so we're just going to stick the siphon Jeremy had into there and hopefully get all the gas out of the tank that way. All right, due to the GoPro dying, we're just going to film the rest of this on my phone. So I'm going to try using a gas tank from my junk tractor that I have at the house, connect the hose to the carburetor and get it running off that so it can at least run off some gas and stuff. And I may just set that back on top of here, um, just so I, I don't know, maybe I'll just get it running and not worry too much about being able to sit on it. Um, Cause it should run without that on it, besides the switch and the seat, but we'll figure that out. Um, so I'm going to take the carburetor home, clean that out real good, and then we'll stick it back on here tomorrow. And once we get it running and I know that it'll run, we'll change out the oil and everything. Um, so we're replacing the fuel lines, all the fuel lines running to this. I need about 10 feet of gas line, um, one fourth inch, which I think I could get from O'Reilly's or AutoZone or something. Um, 
run the cable back to here, run the cable from the fuel pump to the carburetor, run the two lines to the back here in the gas tank, get the fuel pickups, um, clean the gas can out, and we should pretty much be in action. The only thing that's worrying me a little bit is that there are a lot of just not connected wires in here, and I'm not fully sure why that is. I'm hoping it's because this engine had less hookups or something of that nature, but there are a lot of wires that just have no like connection or attachment to anything. This is that switch that broke off. Um, so we'll get a new one of those. Um, but besides that, everything's in pretty good shape. The clutch, I'm going to have to replace the clutch. As you can see right now, it's not even on it. Um, but we'll work on the clutch. But one of the cool things that this has that some of them, they, they, I was watching videos they said to look for, is it has the tensioner for the belt and everything. So that's all the progress we made today. I need to get more batteries for the GoPro um, and a bigger SD card. And uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you guys with another one real soon.